Hello, welcome to another tutorial. So today what we're going to uh, learn is basically a so another deep bass, but this one is different. It sounds more like a guitarish. So let's see. Okay. So uh, for this sound, we're going to use two effects on the input. For example, on B, I use filter and on C, I use granular delay. Okay. On uh, settings for filter, our uh, type is LPF rate is zero, depth is 55, resonance is 66, and cutoff is 41. For the C, I use granular delay, which I have time on 64, but this depends on the time we wanna have, like, uh, not time, I mean pitch, we wanna have. Uh, feedback, feedback is on um, 81, and ease level is on 40. So, what we do for this sound is basically dry kick. Sounds like this. If we want to use different pitches, uh, we can uh, set up time, for example, on a granular delay, and that's it. Okay, the sound, just input sound, sound really pretty good. So what we do on track effects, it's basically we use three effects, but we can also use just two effects. Uh, the chorus on B is optional. On A, we use vocal distortion. Uh, I put distortion, I can have it 100 or even uh, put it less, depends on how you wanna optimize the sound. Let's put it to 90, for example. The tone is 40 minus 45, level is 42. Uh, on B, we have chorus. Uh, the rate is four measures, depth is 100, and E level is 100. Then the last effect, we have a reverb where we have 0 0.8 seconds and the E level to 100 and also well, the D level. And that's it. So when we play the sound with effects, it sounds like this. Okay, it's pretty sick sound, so um, I hope you're gonna uh, know how to use it. So I'm gonna use it that way. Thank you for watching and see you at the next tutorial.